In this video, we are going to discuss the differences in the modes of operation for the Pro 1200 display in the 260 series combine. To start out, we will discuss the more standard or the, the basic mode of operation, which would be manual mode for your machine settings. So you can see here the icon with an M, meaning we are in manual mode. What this means is that right now the machine is set for your more traditional style of harvest where the operator will be in control of making changes to your concave clearances or your pre-sieve and sieve settings, fan speeds. Um, that will be up to them as they go to make their changes. The machine is not looking to make any changes based on the harvest performance. Uh, so this would be more familiar to, you know, your, your manual mode of operation, which is, is why it's called manual mode. So as you see here on the display, you have your readouts for your different position settings. So if the operator were wanting to make a change while he's combining, he can either click on one of the functional areas. So for this instance, we clicked on the pre-sieve adjustment. You can see you have your recommended setting for the crop type selected. In this case, it's soybeans. So if the operator wants to open his pre-sieve a little bit based on what he's seeing, he can either move the slider or press on the up or down arrows and the machine will make the adjustment. Also, he can make the adjustments with the buttons located on the right-hand console. But again, the main thing, and the most important thing to note is in manual mode, the machine is only looking for operator inputs. Alternatively, we can look at our ACS or automated automatic crop settings that will pre-populate default settings, um, whether they are defaults that come set with the combine or if they are something that an operator establishes himself based on a work condition. The first thing that the operator will need to do when accessing the ACS system, we'll click on the menu bar, click on the combine tab, come down here on the right hand side to the electrical tab, and look at their ACS status. So right now ACS is set to off. So in order to use the system, we wanna click on. With ACS set to on, you'll now see that the M has been replaced with the ACS icon. So now the grower can go back to their run screen. And you'll note these boxes now have a green check mark next to them, which means that they are saved to the ACS setting. So you'll notice that they are all green except for the pre-sieve setting that we adjusted in manual mode. So in order for this to be saved to the current work condition, after a change is made, the operator needs to click save. And now our check mark is green. So if we go to our crop setup screen, again, we have our cutaway, our crop types, and our work condition. So right now, an ACS set up for the soybean crop type, we have the automation default, which is the default settings that the automation will start out at if it were activated. Um, there are several different work conditions pre-populated to the display based on crop types. And there's also the ability to save your own work conditions based on what the operator is experiencing in the field uh, or any harvest preferences. So what this allows the operator to do is preset machine settings for different crop types or conditions. And then these conditions are saved under what is called a work condition, which can be recalled instantly at a later date if they experience similar or the same crop conditions at another location or another time during harvest, up to 40 different work conditions can be created. So say we are entering a field of soybeans that are green stem, you'll see here that there is a green stem set point as a default work condition. So if we click on green stem, you'll see that several of the parameters have been changed. 
So if this condition or if this, this uh, preset green stem work condition is working well, the operator can continue to harvest or if they experience uh, less than ideal or, or results or would like to see uh, maybe something different, what they can do is go in, create a new work condition. So we will call this green stem two apply and now we've added another work condition and we can make changes to the system and again you'll notice the two changes we made did not save yet so the check bar check marks are not green if we click on save the system will now save this and we have saved a new work condition so if we go back to green stem we'll change and if we go back to green stem 2 we'll change again so this gives the operator the ability to save work conditions throughout harvest based on you know crop varieties uh, harvest performance uh, green or dry um, easy thresh hard thresh they don't have to try to reset the machine manually every time they change fields if they run into a similar harvesting pattern or performance to what they've already experienced. If they've saved that under a work condition, they can automatically recall that back to the machine and use that as a starting point. Now you'll notice here we have a strategy box, our target max ground speed or our target max engine load. This comes into play if the operator is also using feed rate control with the machine. So the ACS system will operate without using feed rate it will not look to make any changes unless you select the changes itself. Whereas if you are also running feed rate, you can select a strategy and the feed rate system will then alter the machine operation based on the strategy. So for instance, if you select performance mode while running it, Feed rate control will vary ground speed to maintain the set throughput target, which could be limited by either your target max engine load or target max ground speed, or by the losses. Maximum throughput will increase ground speed up to the target max engine load or max ground speed setting, whichever is your limiting factor. And fixed throughput, feed rate will control ground speed to maintain the set throughput target which could be limited by the max engine load or the max ground speed so adding on to the capabilities of the acs system you now begin to add in some additional functionality to the machine that allows the operator to begin maximizing their performance once you start running feed rate you can get into your advanced tabs and you adjust your threshing conditions, whether you have easy, medium, or hard threshing, the frequency in which you would make adjustments, or your feed rate sensitivity set to low, medium, very low, low, medium, high, or very high. And you can set some limits, adjust your sensitivities. And on the headland tab, it's important to note your offsets so if you're running feed rate control and you enter a headland and you have your headland offsets established you can enter headland mode which then will automatically adjust some of your combine settings based on your offset so right now the factory default is zero so say you enter a headland and you want your engine or your fan speed to reduce you can set a offset a negative offset so we enter the headland we want the combine to drop the cleaning fan speed 180 rpm open our pre sieves and our upper sieve 
So now when you enter headland and you hit your shift resume, you raise to above your cut work height and the machine will automatically make these changes for you. And then when you turn and enter back into your main pass, your offsets will go back to zero for the harvest until you reach the other headland. So again, a status bar, some info. This is nice based on your crop types. You can see recommended settings, whether it's your fan speed, rotor speed, concave clearance, cage vein positions, um, upper or lower sieves, and also your rotor configurations, whether you should be running spiked bars, non-spiked bars, how many separator bars, and what type of module types, and also your rotor gear. And then for browse, just a few different things you look at. So you can click on, say you wanna compare some settings. We can look at our automation default compared to our green stem two work condition. And you can see the differences based on how you have the machine set. So for instance, not much is different between the automation default and our green stem two but there are saved changes for our sieves. Now taking it one step beyond ACS, we have AFS harvest command. So to activate harvest command, you'll want to engage it via the rocker on the upper header panel. So now our ACS icon has switched to A which means we are in automation. You can see we have added the sieve pressure bar graph to the right hand side of our funnels and we no longer have the check marks by our uh, machine settings. So if you go into your harvest settings, you'll see that you no longer have your combine cutaway on this tab. This is because you have automation engaged and the machine is now looking at your harvest in real time to make changes. So from here, you can change your work conditions, which strategy you would like, which now that we have automation activated, we have picked up the best grain quality strategy for four different strategies instead of the three for feed rate. If you're unsure what strategy you should be running in, you can always click on the little question mark help icon and a description of each mode will be displayed. So performance, maximum throughput, fixed throughput, and best grain quality. Once you select the quality, once you select the strategy you'd like to operate in, you can always go back to your run screen.